If you keep getting the startup error screen when trying to boot up your Xbox Series S or Series X console, or if you're stuck in a black screen or the green screen of death, then an offline update should fix all those issues. So allow me to demonstrate the whole process as simply as possible. To perform an offline update, you need two things. A flash drive that has at least 8 gigabytes of space and a computer that runs Windows. Then using your PC, you need to format the flash drive to NTFS. This will erase all data, so make sure to move any important files beforehand. So let's plug it into your computer and then right click on it, select format and then you need to select NTFS as the file system. Rename your flash drive if you wish to, then select start. And as we have selected quick format, it won't take too long. After it's formatted, we need to download the update files of your console. So open the browser and search Xbox offline update. Then you need to click on perform an offline update. It should be at the top. After the website is loaded, go down a little bit and expand step one. Here, it says your thumb drive needs at least six gigabytes of space, but this is rather inaccurate because the file tends to be larger than that. Now under step two, you'll see the download link of the system update file. Click on it and the file will start downloading. After the download's finished, open the folder and move or copy the file over to the flash drive. And our work here is done. Now let's take out the flash drive and turn to our console. To access the troubleshoot menu, make sure that your console is powered off. Now what you need to do is press the Xbox button and then quickly press and hold the eject and the pair button until you hear the startup sound again. This will bring us to the troubleshoot menu. You'll see the offline system update is grayed out right now. So let's plug in the flash drive to our console and the tile becomes active instantly. So let's highlight it and all that's left to do is pressing the A button and your console will start the updating process immediately. And your console may restart a few times during the update and it will take a while, so be patient. And make sure that your console is turned on during the whole process. After the update is complete, you'll get logged in straight to your home screen and you'll see whatever problem you're facing has vanished. This is how you can update your Xbox Series S or X console using a USB flash drive. I'm sure you found this video helpful, so don't forget to leave a like and the sub is always appreciated. Until next time, happy gaming.